Welcome to this application's presentation of digital image correlation being used for biomechanical and biomaterials testing. Here is an overview of the biomechanical and biomaterial testing applications that will be presented in this presentation. Applications include such from bones, implants and prostheses, specifically that of a femur bone, a compact rib bone, trabecular bone, hip implant, pelvis and spinal vertebrae. Applications are also taken from cardiac surgery elements, specifically coronary stent, artificial aorta, ventricular assist device, and also a mechanical heart valve. This is a cyclic walking test application of a femur leg bone. On the left is the untreated femur bone, and on the right we can see the treated femur bone with the stochastic speckle pattern. The length of the sample is approximately 29 centimeters, and the width varies from three to eight centimeters. The simulated cyclic walking test is at 0.6 Hertz, using compression-compression testing. The measurement objective is to evaluate the strain distribution at the head of the femur bone during the simulated walking. Further research of determining the applicability of Young's modulus to the inner trabecular in microscale applications was also investigated. On the right, we can see the test setup using a two-camera flex DIC system. Here is a visualization of the digital image correlation measurements taken from the cyclic walking test. On the left we can see a 2D overlay of the total displacement presented in millimeters of the femur bone at maximum loading. Figure 2 we can see a 3D visualization of the same result. Figure 3 is a close-up of the head of the bone and figure four is an overlay of the engineering tangential strain presented in percentage. We can see the positive and negative stress indications with inside the bone, specifically at the neck. This is a three-point bending test application 
taken of a compact rib bone, specifically a cortical bone. The measurement objective is to determine the flexural modulus and the viscoelastic properties for macro and micro numerical modeling of this bone type. We can see in figure one, the specimen has been speckled. And in figure two, the test setup using three point bending testing apparatus and a two camera flex DIC system using green monochromatic lighting. Here is a visualization of the DIC measurement results taken from the three point bending test of the compact rib bone. Figure one presents a 2D overlay visualization of the wire displacement with rigid body motion removed. Figure two is a 3D visualization of the tangential strain in the Y direction. And figure three is a spatial plot of the tangential strain versus the distance taken of the linear line gauge. This is a compression test application of an inner trabecular spongy bone. The test object size is approximately eight millimeters in length and five millimeters in width. The measurement objective is to evaluate the strain distribution of the inner bone structure under mechanical compressive loading. The research focus was to determine an appropriate modeling element for finite element analysis or FEA that replicates the inner trabecular bone to the bone external macrostructure. Figure one is a picture of the specimen of the trabecular cancellous bone with a two millimeter calibration target. Figure two is a close-up, 8 mm by 5 mm close-up, of the trabecular cancellous bone. And figure 3 is a 3D visualization of the bone contour. This is a second compression test application of an inner trabecular spongy bone. This time a section of the bone was taken of 10 by 10 by 10 mm, and the measurement objective was to determine an appropriate modeling element for finite element analysis, or FEA, that replicates the inner trabecular bone to the bone external macrostructure. Figure one, we can see the specimen prepared with speckles. In figure two, we can see a 2D overlay of the Y displacement. This is a fatigue test of a hip implant tested according to ISO 7206. The test prescribes a fatigue test in compression-compression loading up to 10 million cycles with frequencies up to 30 hertz. The purpose of this test, specifically using with digital image correlation, is to validate FEA models and specifically model and investigate the bone implant interaction and stress shielding. On the right we can see that a similar test setup to the test prescribed here, the fatigue test. This system uses a two camera DIC setup with red monochromatic illumination. For this application, we would like to point out that the mechanical fixture design and the hip implant are actually applicable for this particular fatigue testing application. However, in the image taken here, this is of a quasi static testing machine and not a fatigue testing machine, which is prescribed in the ISO 7206. For this visualization, we would like to point out that a fatigue testing machine was used to perform the ISO 7206 application. Here is a visualization of the measurement results acquired using the Flex DIC setup. On the right, we can see the 2D overlay of the visualization of the engineering principal strain shown in percentage. On the left, we see a 3D grid visualization of the displacement with rigid body motion removed. This is a compression test of a replica of a human pelvis. The measurement objective is to analyze the 3D displacement, deformations, and strain concentrations in a fractured pelvic bones after surgical treatment with selected mini invasive fixators. This is a compression test, as we can see here, using a multi-camera DIC system. Here are the individual camera view perspectives of the replica human pelvis. Here is a visualization of the measurement results acquired using the multi-cam DIC system and the compression test. 
On the left, we can see a 3D visualization of the Lagrangian principal strain with a spectral plot of the Lagrangian principal strain versus distance taken across this particular line. We can see in this particular application that there is a stress concentration in the middle of the pelvis. On the right is a video of the 3D visualization of the Lagrangian principal strain distribution across the test. This is a video of the 3D visualization of the Lagrangian principal strain 2, also known as the minor strain. This is a compression test of a replica human spine placed inside an electromechanical testing machine. The measurement objective of this test is to evaluate the strain concentration on the compression plates or the vertebrae within the spine during the test. This type of test is actually an axial torsional compression test, whereby the spine is compressed and turned simultaneously. In figure one, we can see the camera measurement acquisition perspective of the spine with the speckle pattern applied. In figure three and in figure four, we see a 3D visualization of the tangential strain in the X direction. Figure three shows the tangential strain during compression loading, and figure four shows the maximum compression loading. This is an application example taken from the cardiac surgery elements. Pictured here using the stereoscopic microscope and the flex DIC system is a coronary stent. The coronary stent is tested using a balloon expansion test whereby a balloon is inserted within the stent, expanded, causing the stent to plastically deform. The stent itself is approximately 0.1 millimetres in width and 0.6 millimetres in length. And the measurement objective is to evaluate the contour deviation of the stent strut after it has been inserted, inflated and left in the coronary artery. This is a pulse flow test of an artificial aorta. The test object size has a diameter of approximately 10 millimetres and can be seen here to the left. The measurement objective is to evaluate the stress concentration of the artificial aorta during a pulsed pumping pressure test, which effectively generates expansion and contraction of the aorta. The test criteria is to assess the number of loading cycles the artificial aorta can withstand without forming stress concentrations. On the right, we see a test setup of the artificial aorta here and a flex DIC system. Here is a video of the 3D visualization of the displacement in the Z direction with a temporal plot of the displacement in the Z direction and X direction in millimeters versus the step image. This is a cyclic test of a ventricular assist device or VAD. The test object size is approximately 80 millimeters by 60 millimeters and can be seen here in the speckled image of the camera acquisition measurement. Here is an infrared camera picture of the VAD in operation with the visualization result here showing the peak Z displacement at 60 micrometers. The measurement objective is to evaluate the strain and displacement concentration of the VAD to estimate the influence of deposited hemocompatible coatings on mechanical response of the VAD during the dynamic loading applied by using a centrifugal blood pump in two temperatures. The last application from the cardiac surgery elements is a cyclic test performed on a mechanical heart valve. This is a tilting disc type valve um, that can be found in an artificial heart or VAD. The test object size is 15 millimeters in diameter and the objective is to evaluate the strain concentration and crack propagation inside the valve during pressure loading. Quasi-static compression tests generated by material testing machines with compressive foam 
are used to emulate even pressure distribution exerted in real conditions by fluid pressure on the valve. On the left we see the test piece specimen of the implantable heart valve and on the right we see a 2D overlay of the wide displacement deformation of the VAD artificial heart valve. This concludes the biomechanical and biomaterials testing application presentation. If you have any questions or comments, please contact your local Dantec Dynamics sales representative or email product.support at dantecdynamics.com. Thank you very much.